This is Andrea's first day practicing the sumo deadlift. I start out having her use the band around her knees so that she can get an idea of what that external rotation is supposed to feel like. Probably more important on the sumo deadlift even than the squat. Really open those hips up and you know, trying to explain to her what I want her to do, turn her toes out. Um, she's having a little bit of trouble with that cue, but eventually we, we get a better idea of it. Um, really try to get her to get her knees out of the way of the bar. That's important in the sumo deadlift. You want your knees to start out behind the bar. Here I show how I do that by pushing my hips back. You have two options. You can either push your hips further back to get your knees behind the bar. Um, obviously going to turn into more of a hip dominant lift than knee dominant. Or you can externally rotate further, which kind of aggravates a hip issue that Andrea has. It aggravates a nerve in her back. So here I have her trying to externally rotate more. It's not quite working out. Her, her feet are still in a little too much. Her ankles should be underneath of her knees from that front view. And here we kind of correct that. As you can see, when she gets down into position, when she finally is ready to begin the pull, she's pushing her hips back, and now her knees are right underneath her ankle, and that's exactly where we want it. And then we begin trying to take that side view, and we want her to really extend that knee and that hip at the same rate. It's, it's kind of a misnomer to think that you have to squat the weight up. You can pull it with your hips being dominant, but with some of the back issues Andrea's had, we don't want her to turn it into too much of a hip dominant lift with a lot of force in her spine. Um, here we, we add a little more weight to it to see if there's any technical breakdown. And there's not so much, but we, we would like, just because of the back issues that she's had, to see her extending those knees a little faster relative to her hip. But overall, form looks pretty good. Her knees are behind the bar as she initiates the pull, and she's got a good, good lockout.